words, what does our Sharia say about joking and being humorous with one another within our faith tradition? Believe it or not, even this topic has been discussed in so much detail that wallahi as I sat down to write this khutbah, I realized that even this one khutbah can be made into two or three khutbahs. But of course we do not have the time for that. So I will summarize what some of our scholars have said about the Islamic guidelines and requirements, about what our own tradition says, about being humorous within one another, about cracking jokes and lightening up the mood. There are in fact specific treatises and books written by our scholars of Islam about this one topic. And why would they not write books when it is narrated in dozens of a hadith that our Prophet ﷺ regularly lightened the mood and was humorous and yes, even cracked jokes. Do you know that in a Shama'il al-Tirmidhi, which is the most authentic and the most famous book that describes the characteristics of our Prophet Sallallahu by Imam Tirmidhi. Tirmidhi has his famous Sunan. He also has a book called Shama'il. Shama'il, the characteristics of Rasulullah Sallallahu He has an entire chapter entitled the chapter of the jokes of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is in our most standard orthodox mainstream book about the characteristics of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu said, write down my statements, write down the ahadith. And Abu Huraira said, Ya Rasulullah, but sometimes you joke with us. Sometimes, innaka latumazihuna. You're joking with us, meaning do you want me to write down your jokes as well? And the Prophet sallallahu held on to his tongue and he said, uktub. Write down everything that comes. la ilaha illahu. I swear by the one that there is no God besides him. Nothing comes from here other than the truth. Meaning, even the jokes of the Prophet ﷺ have moral benefit, have wisdom. And today we'll discuss some of them and you will see each and every one of them actually has some wisdom, some benefit to it. Sometimes even theological benefit we learn from the jokes of Rasulullah ﷺ. But the point here, Abu Huraira radiallahu an wanted to ask, O Messenger of Allah, you are joking with us so often. Do you want me to write those jokes down as well? What does that demonstrate? That it was the constant characteristic of Rasulullah to be humorous, to be gentle. And that is because being gentle, being humorous is a part of the perfection of akhlaq. It is a part of being the perfect associate and companion. We all know there are those people amongst us. They're always morose. They're always, they're always frowning. They're always serious. We don't like being around them. Our Prophet was not like that. Our Prophet Muhammad was the best of the people, was the Sayyid of the children of Adam. And as a perfection, as Anas said, I never saw anybody smile more than the Prophet He's always smiling. As a perfection, he would laugh. As his perfection, he would even be humorous and crack jokes. And all of this he did sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to legislate unto us that this too is a part and parcel of our religion of Islam.